Hey everybody, so uh, my breed of supply, love my pups. And today we're gonna do a video on actually our stud dogs. I don't think we've ever done this before. Uh, and uh, so today we now have uh, 22 st active studs and a couple more new ones. Um, and this is actually one of the guys who's just starting his career. So we're gonna start by just talking about studs in general. So. This is Cody, you see Cody on some of these videos, you're gonna see a lot more of Cody. Um, Cody's, Cody, how long have you been breeding dogs now? Oh, about 10 years, yep. about 10 years. So combined between the two of us, Tammy, me and Cody, you know, Tammy and me have got 20 years apiece, Cody's got 10, we've got a lot of experience on this. And uh, we have, a, you see the cat right there. Yeah. So this, tell us about this. Cat. This is Rango. Rango is just starting his career. He's, oh, he's about eight months old. He's pretty, uh, he's pretty young. You can notice how small he is, but he's super thick. Uh, he's a lilac and tan, ATA that carries cream and fluffy jeans. So he's a fluffy carrier. Uh, he's a beautiful, very small. I don't, it's hard to tell how small a dog is. Well, and it's cold wait, out today. Where's, is uh, TC still around? Grab TC. We're going to compare this with a cat. We'll get you yeah. an idea. It's cold out today, so he's kind of nervous. TC's like, TC's, TC's like, not having it. TC's not having it. TC's actually going to walk into the camera view all by himself. <laughs> <laughs> T we've, got, we've got Lee in the background doing some cat wrangling. Yeah. Not doing a very good job at it either. There he goes. There he goes. Rango says, I like him. Yeah. He's hurting cats. I love this guy. Yeah, he's, I think he's an awesome dog. He's awesome. He's full grown right now. He's just going to get a little thicker as far as his body goes. It's yeah. That's about where he's. He'll put be. bone on one. He'll oh, put muscle yeah. on. He'll he put muscle he on. he won't end up being physically longer, taller, but he'll just get bigger head, more muscle, bigger chest. If I could get him to stand, he's being pretty bashful. It's cold out here. Yeah, it's, it's what super is it? Cold. 48 degrees. Yeah, high, high today. High today's 48. I'm gonna put a jacket on because I'm cold. So, and he's, I, mean, he's a, I hate this view that everybody gives, but he is a little guy. I'm, I'm not very tall. I'm about five six, but he's not gonna stand at all. If you ever see Rango get up and run around, he sets down about every three steps. Yep. So <laughs> you're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it. But that's all right. Yeah. yeah. But, but anyway, he, he comparison. Better. Put the incubator up there well, for comparison. Well, see, is TC one draw? Yeah. 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 He's had enough of it, has he? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah. Well, yeah. You'll just relax. There you go. Yeah. There's there's our small. But I mean, you could get him in our incubator. Yeah, that's right. Almost. There he is. You could yeah, get him in the incubator. Yeah, he's gonna stand up now. But he's our small. He's this is our small ink and. Yes. And. Uh, Those yeah, are like this, eight this quart. Twelve quart, eight quart. Yeah, sixteen quart. Sixteen quart. Yeah. But this is the size of. Yeah. He's so the, and the part of what we're showing here is what we like. Yeah. We like small studs. We like small studs because they produce smaller babies. Yep. And uh, you know, I again, some people want these thirty-pound dogs. What do you think about thirty-pound dogs? Well, this, I, this yeah. more this English. Bully look. So my deal is, is I want them to be athletic and be able to get the things done that the dogs need to do. They need to be able to run and chase tennis balls and play with my kids in the park and do all that kind of fun stuff. And when you get them so squatty where they can't get around, um, you got other other things. In my opinion, you're going to have some health issues. But I want a dog that's going to be able to run and play and and enjoy time with the kids and not have to worry about you know getting too overheated or, or hurting themselves. Right. But, so this is what this is my idea you know he's uh compact. this is my he's, ideal yeah i mean yeah. i just love this little he's boy. compact he's not too extreme in any area he's very well balanced and um we really we really like this we really everybody like is this smiling <laughs> he's got a few other people waving toys and everything he, he is just an awesome little guy. Yeah. So what does the AKC say? AKC says you start studying at seven months? Seven months, I believe. He's, he's just, I mean, you know, literally in the last week, you know, a few weeks ago he was spitting a little bit. His last pull was good. So he is fixing to be on board. And so yeah. what we do on new guys is before they have proven what they can do, they basically go about a half price on a stud fee. So this guy is going to be, Compared to what he'll be here, and I'm not going to give price out. You can get to us, and we'll give you price on all the dogs. But he's going to—he is somebody's going to get some deals over his next uh, six, eight weeks on this guy. And so, what will he produce? He's going to produce obviously lilac and tans. Uh, he carries a copy of cream. You match him up with the right female, he's going to produce platinums. You match him up with a full fluffy, you're going to get some fluffies. You match him up with a half fluffy, or which is which would be a carrier you're going to get fluffies out of that litter too. So he can do blues and tans, chocolate and tans, lilac and tans, platinums, and 
Full fluffies. Fawns and creams. Yep. ATA. ATA is what yep. he is. So I like that. So that gets you the possibility of doing full tan points either as ATA or ATAT, or double recessive solid coats with the AAs. Yeah. So look at his eyes. He's got these pretty eyes. That's what you see in these in these lilac dogs where they have these really pretty eyes. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Really pretty eyes. And he's 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 doing this right now because it's cold out yeah, here. Yeah, it's not, cold. Not, it's cold out here, but he's enjoying himself. So okay, so so uh, well, before we do the next, we're going to do, I think we can do five dogs. Okay. We're going to bring five dogs up here. Five out of, we're not going to bring them all, but five, five. And what we can do is we're going to bring five of the more recent dogs that we haven't really got that many yeah. of the videos yeah. of yet, so you get an idea. Yeah, we've got so, some new dogs. We've got some new dogs. So, a new dogs who are, by the way, all of these dogs we're going to show you after this. These are all producing dogs who produce many, many litters. We're all watching so, all while we're talking about that, did you bring me a... A shipmate box? No, I don't think so. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, not, not a full box. Okay. So, so the next thing is, how do we do this? Well, last night we had a gentleman show up. Bernie from Dallas showed up at uh, what we were doing an AI at 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, 11.30. So 11.30 we did an AI. So you can come visit us. The majority of time we use our patented product Shipmate and we're shipping electronically controlled semen floss. This can keep semen up to 10 days. If you've got enough cold in the, in the thing it goes in, up to 10 days. So this is got a battery in it. It actually digitally controls the temperature. So the temperature is kept very, it, it slowly cools it down over about four hours and holds it exactly at five degrees centigrade. This is the thing that really got all this rolling for us. This is the thing that's made, made us where we are today. We are in the stud business. And we're in the stud business because we invented this. And then we've invented and patented other products to do with raising dogs. So this is all part of this process. So, next dog? Yep, next right. dog. Okay. One. All right, next boy we've got here is Hercules. And uh, why don't you pan over the Hercules over here? So, love this boy. He, he, this is a dog that actually Cody produced from Zeus, I think, wasn't it, Cody? Zeus and Mitzi. Zeus and Mitzi. So Zeus and Mitzi produced this boy here. He's he, tiny. He's also a small dog. And I mean, if you see his pictures on Love My Pup, they don't do justice to how this boy looks now. He is a Give really, me that really, we need, you see that? Eat? Yes. He is, he is, it's another small boy. This I, is our small ink. Yeah. This is our smallest ink we have. And again, gives you an idea it's hard to see these dogs and what kind of size they are but when you put him you put him right next to our, our small link there yeah so he's he's a bit bigger than rango but not a lot not a lot and he's i don't know what he weighs these days i'd say probably around 20 is probably about the right number yeah he's, he, he is a he is a nice to put it all right so let's see if you'll come up here cody for us i don't know if he'll stand up here or not he may not like it too much there's too much stuff going on all right, so what is he? He is, he is a blue and tan. He's a blue and tan that carries cream. He is an ATAT, -AT, and he also carries chocolate. Cocoa. So, yep, cocoa. Cocoa, right. Yeah. So we had to be careful of these days because we've got to talk about testable chocolate well, versus. Yeah, testable versus cocoa. So yeah. let's have a couple of seconds about that. This guy here carries cocoa, which the majority of French is a cocoa. Yeah. You can't get chocolate by putting a cocoa with a, with a testable. This testable's a little B, Coco's a little CO. He's a little CO dog. Yeah. Right. And he's got a real unique face. It's just a baby face. It's like his mama. If you'll get his ears. Mitzi's up. his mom? Mitzi's yeah, his mom. Yeah, like Mitzi's mom. Mitzi's tiny. Yeah. She's like a Mighty Mouse's girlfriend. Yeah. Yes. But he's yes. beautiful. Yes, and he's produced some fairly bald. Oh, they just produced a litter of 12 puppies here. I think, a, I think a few days ago. Yeah. Which is more than you really want. To yeah, be no, that's a, that's but they're a, all doing sounds good. Sounds great, but it's a terrible job to have. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. hard work. But look, it's, we can't blame you for producing big litters, can we? I love this boy. Yeah. He is. So this is a Cody product, and uh, thank you. And Cody came to me and said, uh, "Hey, you should you should keep this boy right here." And I'm saying, "Well, how much is it going to cost me?" And he said, "Don't worry about it. You need him." <laughs> <laughs> and he and Cody was right. So love this boy. And we're actually the next dog we're probably going to show is another of your dogs. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So this is uh, this is Hercules. Um, so how do you how do you get to use Hercules? Well, what you do is is you call us up, and the first thing you do is you talk to us about your dogs and our dogs. So we want to match you up with a stud that makes sense, depending on what your goals are. You know, how big's your your dog? Are you trying to produce? Is there something you want to fix on your dog? You got long back, long legs, whatever it might be. Let's have a discussion about that. 
Now let's have a discussion about the colors you want, because there's two different kinds of ways you get this. One is colors that you'll show in puppies, and the other is hidden colors that those puppies can then pass on to their offspring to produce other colors. So this guy here can produce just about everything. By the way, all these dogs we're gonna show you, none of them have brindle. <coughs> yep. We've only had two dogs that have brindle in our whole lineup, and that's Dior and Sterling, some of our first two dogs we ever had. We, we absolutely keep away from brindle these days, don't we, Cody? Yep. Do you have brindles? Yeah, no, we don't have anything currently in our program with brindle other than those two dogs. Well, we no, never will, will yeah, we? No. We never, why don't you like brindle? Well, so my opinion on this is, it has nothing to do with the health of the dog, or, you know, um, there's no, hearing or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But uh, the deal is with Brindle, it costs us as much money, and it costs everybody else the same amount of money to produce dogs you can sell for 15000 that it costs us to produce dogs you sell for 5000 And when you produce Brindles, it cuts our cost, or cuts our profits down quite a bit. So, so a straight Brindle dog? What's it, what, do you, what would you pay? Just a straight Brindle dog, just just a Brindle dog. What, what do I you? Think, I think now, from what I hear on Brindles, they're doing like three grand. Oh, I think that's high. Yeah. Oh, I think fifty to two. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars. Versus. Well, a, if you know, I was selling them. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. Well. So I hate talking about prices because they are so subjective, and it yeah, does depend about you know. There's a lot of things that go into that bone and structure, right. DNA. And so that's another thing. Structure is the hardest thing to build, isn't it? Yeah. Structure, you know, color is easy to build. Yep. Color is easy to build. Structure. Put color on a football. You put color on a football. Structure, you've got to have structure. So you got you want to have structure on both sides. And definitely that's the thing that we we really want to impress upon everybody is this is something that uh, you know, this is a Frenchie right here fluff, slapping off the yeah. hairy yeah. little yeah. bugs. Well the se seasons are changing. We're yeah. believe it or not, we're going from cold okay. to hot, so everybody's yeah. dropping a little bit. But I always say, you know, there's DNA codes for all kinds of stuff. Hair coat, uh, color, uh, all the health issues or conditions that could be tracked through DNA. Number, but there's not a DNA code for bone and structure. That's right. That's something you have to pay for. You can't just put that right. in there. That's you, right. You have, to, it, yes. you have to pay for that. And AKC has got no dog in this hunt. No. no, of course, there are breed standards, of course. So yeah. the breed standard on a French Bulldog is less than 27 pounds. Yeah. And so I see lots of dogs that are over that. Yeah. This dog here is substantially less than that. And he produces these pretty puppies that people go gaga over. Oh, well, let's see if I can get him to turn and face the camera. He's just wanting to look at me. All, all the animals around here really like Cody. I don't know what it is. Cody's got some kind of pack with the devil. There he is. Yeah, he's not even looking. I'll no. see if I can get him to look out here. There you go, buddy. There you oh, go. You there you go. It was pretty, pretty nice. He always so, produces babies with really soft faces. So I, another thing I like about a, our dogs, and what I don't like I see in other dogs quite a bit, is huge great big rabbit ears. Yeah. I don't like, the, so the, the, it used to be more of a rounded ear on a French Bulldog. I personally like that look. Here's another thing I like about this dog. He's got a tail, but not much of it. He does have a tail, but he doesn't have much tail. Yeah. Yep. So, just overall, I really love this little dog. Okay, so that is, uh, that's Hercules. And uh, now it's time for the, for the next. He's looking at some other dogs yeah, around here. Yeah. So this is Picasso. And yep. he is a Lilac and Tan Laurel. And he is a small boy. He is smaller than all the other dogs you've seen so far. And he produces these really pretty marked up dogs, what we call Tweeds and Harlequins. He shows, he actually throws prettier colors than what he is. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. He's pretty blank compared to what he puts out. What he puts out, he's produced some dogs that look like full camo dogs. I mean, they are just so cool. And and he produces small dogs, because he is, I don't know what, he weighs 17, 18 pounds. He's a, and he is two and a half years old. He's not yeah. gonna get any bigger. And he's got some he's got some, some equipment hanging around the back end. He can get the job done. Yeah. He can get the job done. All right, let's pop up over here. We've got a bit of mowing going on here, so we apologize for the noise. It's dangerous putting these dogs up on the table. They think it's time to go to work. Yes, exactly. Yes, well, that's another interesting thing. It's, it's, grab this is, is that, uh, yeah, see, he gets rather so Again, you can see size He's even smaller. Yeah, he's even, I mean, he would get the ink. He would yeah. like it. Yeah, so yes, you can see, that's our small ink. Yeah. So yeah. kind of give you a good yes. idea. Of right. Yeah, and if you look at his back end, you can see he's got some equipment hanging down there. So he is a... He's oh, a, he's a, Sit down there, buddy. Yeah. Look, look at his face. He's just smushed up, smushed up. No, no underbite. You see a lot of dogs that have this underbite going on or an overbite. His, 
I don't know whether I can show his, his I probably can't now, he's not going to do it. That's, his teeth are just right on the money. Which, which, Frenchy teeth tend to be not be the perfect teeth, you know, they, especially when they get older, but he's yeah. got a good, he's got a good set of teeth. He is, he is a beautiful dog, so, I love this guy. So he is an ATA Lilac Merle that carries a copy of Cream. I have produced Platinums and Platinum Merles out of this dog right here. And if you want something to shrink your program, you better be ready for it because he can produce some small puppies. Uh, so that, that's what he's done for me. Uh, I've used him three or four times on my females and everything comes out really small. Uh, depending on how your female's built, um, you can do a lot of great things with him. But I produced Lilac and Tans, I put produced chocolate, and I produced chocolate Merles, Lilac and Tan Merles, Platinums, and Platinum Merles, which are really cool. Well, they look just like a Platinum, but they carry the Merle gene. Uh, he, he's, he's one of our go-to dogs. Yeah, yeah, he stays pretty busy. He's a go-to dog. Yeah. He's us. like a plumber electrician. You better get in early. Yes, he's a go-to dog. He stays booked up. He is booked. So this next couple of weeks, he's, he's booked up solid. Yeah. So this is another thing. When you're, if you're interested in our dogs, talk to us early. Don't talk to us late. Now we get phone calls where somebody's dog, stud dog has failed and needs to be done right now. We've always got enough stud dogs that we can always do something for you at the last minute. But it may not be the dog that you want at the last yeah. minute. Yeah. Yeah. And exactly. you want this guy. Yeah. I mean this. This guy has it all. You, who can you not use him with? You can't use him with another mole. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So why don't you just put a mole to a mole? Well, it's not healthy. I saw something the other day. Uh, it, was, uh, it was basically a meme, a meme a joke about a mole to mole. But um, I don't recommend it at all. No, we don't no, do it. No. Get blind deaf dogs. Yep. All I mean, you're not going to get all blind deaf dogs. But if you put a mole, so a mole, there's a few genes out there. Well, there's actually two genes out there that only take a single copy to show up, and that is Merle and Brindle. Yep. Either one of those are what's called a dominant gene. A single copy shows up. So to get a Merle dog like him, he only has one copy of Merle. Yep. So you put a Merle dog with a non-Merle dog, half the litter on average has a copy of Merle, and they will look Merle. And there are different degrees of Merle. When you do a, a DNA test, it'll have a number by it. And the number tells you how merle the pattern is on the dog. And so he's got a great number. He produces really pretty dogs. The last litter I produced out of him, <laughs> every pup in there was a merle pup. So <laughs> that's just, and somebody had, got and another yeah. customer had five merles in a row. Yep. But that, that was just a luck thing though, yeah, wasn't it? I, yeah. I, don't, I don't, it's not like that we can claim that he's gonna yeah. produce all merles. But you them. know what, something's unusual about him um, in his pups. I've never had a pup out of him that didn't carry the tweed pattern. Yeah. Yeah, right. So, he's, he's so the tweed, the tweed, you see it a little bit here, but the tweed is two different shades of, 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 of dark. So this is a lilac dog, so he looks gray. So it's a, it's a more washed out color than just yeah. a straight blue. Yeah. The blue dogs tend to be much darker yeah. than they. You can see that tweed a little stronger in a chocolate merle versus yes. a, a lilac. You can merle. see the bit here. So if yeah. you look on his flank, it's gray and it's dark. So there's the two colors of the tweed. If he was a harlequin, it'd be a, on a white background. Yep. He does produce harlequins. Yeah, and I've produced a couple of harlequins out of him. So. Yes, and, and we've produced some harlequins too that have been gorgeous. So, and he is, he he's like a bunny rabbit. He likes he's a funny character. Yeah. All of and most of his puppies that I produce act just like him. They bounce around like tiggers. Yes. Off poo. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Right. He is something else. Yeah. Love this dog. Love this dog. One of my go-to boys right here. Nice short tail, just enough tail to make it sensible. Got these really nice ears, great, great, just a small framed, pretty little dog who produces big lids, got good equipment on the back end. He, he's, I mean, he's a good looking dog. Love this dog. Okay, right. On to the next one. On to the next one. So the, the last dog is gonna be to hump a lot and we'll bring him up. Okay, this is, this is the very first Platinum AA recessive Frenchie in America. Uh, he's not anymore. He was. So he was, he was. Now there's other ones out there. Some of it's because of him. He's produced some of these dogs. Yeah, that's right. So this is, this is Sir Humpelot. He is a Platinum AA recessive. So he is, when we say Platinum, we're talking about a dog that's blue and cocoa and cream all combined, and he's AA which makes for a solid coat color. So he yep. can produce, well, we'll talk, Cody's gonna talk more about that. We'll put him over here, I'm trying to, I'm not cut in front of James here, yep. but you'll come anyways. But you can see, again, I'm using the cooler as a, 
you can see how small he is. If you'll turn around, he's just going to try to collect them. But uh, his body length is what he is yeah. so short backed. He's no, he's smaller than the cooler. Yes, but he is a super little stack dude. Yes, um, he produced the he produces it's another one of our go to dogs. Yep. We we use this dog a lot ourselves. Yeah, so he's he's put he's Bazinga's daddy. Yes, he is Bazinga's daddy. So should we, are you going to hop up here for yeah, us? Yeah. I'm not sure how he's going to like you being up here. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. He's a bit more active. Older dog. So he is how old? Oh. Probably three now, I'm thinking. He's going to be close. Two and a half, three years yeah, old. Yeah, two and a half. I think. Two and a half years old. Close enough. Produced, he has produced a lot of puppies. A lot of litters. Produces nice, small dogs. Big litters. Got all the right equipment. Again, he's got this nice, he's got a beautiful head. He's got nice ears. Little bitty tail. Short backed. Yeah. And he's got every color you can want. The only thing you can't produce is he doesn't have moral. Yeah. And we've got now two of his boys. Actually, we've got three. We've got Nova, Chanel, our daughter has, yep. who's a platinum. Then we have Duke and uh, Napoleon, who they just on. And Bazinga. They're Chris and Bazinga. Bazinga's Bazinga. from him, right? So most of our dogs are not related, but he has produced some dogs that we've kept. Now, because the female doesn't matter, but but the other two boys. Yeah. So one of the boys he produced is a platinum merle. Yep. And that's Duke, and he's just starting his career. Yep. Out. Yep. But so. Uh, but he's great. So there's a lot of dogs that have pretty puppies, but uh, Humpy has consistently put out just some roly poly. If you like fat roly poly puppies, uh, when they're born, they are fatties, and they're fatties all the way through. They're just like uh, roly polies. Some puppies are small and petite, but. Uh, he and, skinny, small, and skinny and, and weak. And skinny and weak. I've had some of those. And, and, and that can be a pretty good stretch for you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's, it is. In it's, fact, it's a hustle. I'm going to get out of view here and come back in while we talk about that. Yeah, so it's a hustle. Just to talk about that, when you've got those puppies, by yep. the way, you've got to have this. Yep. You should have this anyway. If you're serious about breeding dogs, there's going to be a time, and I promise you, that if you didn't have this, you are not going to let the puppy survive. No. This is a traveling incubator. It plugs into 12 volts, so you can have it in your car. You can, it comes with an adapter, so you can plug it in the house. It's temperature controlled, so you can set up what the temperature is. It's, I've had as many as 11 newborns. What's the most you've had? Are you had 12? 11, 11, 11. 11 newborns. I mean, you can't get 11 puppies that are five weeks old in yeah. here, but that's not what you're normally doing. Yeah. But you go to and from the vet with this, and then you might be in a situation, you've had it, I've had it, where you have that puppy that really needs Yeah, them. we use we use them for a NIC unit, like a neonatal unit for, for a preemie that you're having to tube feed or, you know, you need to separate from the others because, you you know, you just want to give it that special care. That takes place of, uh, of putting it in there in the whelk kennel. Um, people are concerned, you know, well, what I've had this question four times yesterday. I know, can't make up my mind which size kennel I'm going to go incubator I'm going with and you know they're afraid to get the small one they got Frenchies they're afraid to get the small one because it's gonna to be too small and I tell them this I said for 63 days those puppies have been stacked up on each other and when you're getting them home from the vet I don't care if you had a 20 foot ink you're gonna they're all gonna be stacked up in the coo cooler on top of that's each other when you get one. home exactly yeah I mean then that, that's just what they're used to yeah so now when you're looking at bigger pups I mean you know bigger breeds labs springers um, some bulldogs. of those, yeah, English bulldogs. You might want to look into that that bigger giant schnauzers. Yeah, 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 giant <laughs> schnauzers or or any of those bigger dogs that you know you're coming out of an 80 pound female or a 50 Get pound dog. One. I would go with the big one, but the little one's so handy. It's just a one jobber. You can walk into a door. Yeah. You can open a door up. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter whether you're a small a small framed uh, woman or you're a big man. This thing here is just so easy to handle. Or a little man. Or a little man, right? So if you've got a Frenchie or something that's a 30 pound or less dog, get yeah, the smaller one. The smallest way to the go. The bigger one's only another 20 bucks, but another 15 bucks. But this thing is just so portable. And I've got five in my rotation and I've had those for six years and I don't ever get the new designs. I that's, just get where the, our, that's where our product's yeah, that's going right. to. And I just get the, the ones <laughs> that we're having problems good. with or, or we're trying We've to figure out. We've been poor low so. on inventory for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I know where it is now. It's at your house. I can give you a website and you order on the <laughs> yeah, side. Yeah. So yeah, so again, a little plug for that thing, but 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 again, back to this guy here. It's Sir Humpelot. Love yep. this guy. Love yep. this guy. So just to kind of have a closing end on this, call us. We can help you. We can help you even if not using our dogs. Yep. We know what we're talking about. We are very approachable. Um, if you've got a problem where you are gonna use a stud dog today and for whatever reason it won't produce, you can't collect. The dog won't the, the person can't ship. Whatever it is, we're here for you. We can ship every day of the week except Sunday. 
We can ship to you by FedEx Monday through Friday. FedEx is very reliable. We can ship to you days before you need the semen if necessary. So right now we've got a shipment going to British Columbia and it's actually a double load. And they're going to be there probably a couple of days early, but that'll be fine. They just stick it in the fridge and they can use it when they're ready. In our shipmate. In our shipmate, yep. 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 In our shipmate. In shipmate, yep. Shipmate's the thing that makes that happen. Closing comments, Cody? Uh, Your phone number. 806-664-0173 is my number if you've got any questions about studs or upcoming breedings that you're looking at. Or if you're not ready to go and you're just trying to figure out what you're going to go with with your female, you can call us. Give us your DNA. We can tell you kind of what to look for and, and our opinion. Of course, again, it's just our opinion. But. And I'd rather have a text. If people yeah. send me emails. Yeah. It, yeah. And, and, and so um, if you send us a text, make it fairly short to start with. If you've got a DNA report, take a picture of it. That's really helpful, isn't it? Yeah. But all this is going to require a conversation over a phone. Because Absolutely. it gets too much detail no, 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 text, I, and nobody has time for that. So it's going to require, and, you know, a conversation. Exactly. Over and it, so, you know, if we just send, if you, if you don't do it with the conversation, there's 20 texts and we don't have time for them. Yeah. We've got, we don't have, we really don't have time for it. And this is a small, just a small number of our studs. We've got several studs. We have new studs that we're not putting out yet. They're not ready to go. And we also have a, a line of fluffies, full fluffies, uh, but you're not seeing them today. We're just showing you a few. To and we showed started. you the first one, Rango. Yeah, Rango is a, he's a fluffy carrier. Right. He is but we've fluffy, got yeah. so two full fluffies and another one. Yep. Actually two, two more, more. Two more that are going to yep. go. They're just not ready to show yet. Not ready to show yet. But uh, but this guy here, I love this little boy. Yeah. He's, he's a, and he, and this is the thing about Frenchies. They are so manageable dogs. They're yeah. smart. They're clever. They, they can travel with you. They can be up on a high-rise apartment. Yeah. They can live on a ranch. And the thing about him, he's not too too short. He's very short back, but, I mean, he's still athletic and can play and go all day. But look at that structure, that frame. This is what we talk about why, why we breed for this. This right here is what we're looking for. And we raise this dog. Yes. 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 So majority of our studs yeah. have been uh, as puppies yeah. raised by. So this guy yeah. here came from uh, Creme Brulee yeah. and uh, Giovanni. Uh, Giovanni. Giovanni. Yep. Yeah. So this is this is what we do. Everybody's got a target in their eye that's a little different than others, but this is our target for what we want our studs to 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 bring in, and we raise this guy. And he's I've kept a female out of him too. Uh, her name Aspen, and she's beautiful. Uh, but, yeah. Yep. Yeah. This guy makes me smile. Yeah. Yeah. He's a good he's dog. Good, dog. He's good dog. You make me smile to that dude. That's right. He's just a nice dog. Okay, so tell Cody your phone number one more time. 806-664-0173. You can find us at the World Wide Web at www.mybreedersupply.com. Cody knows what he's talking about. And uh, between the between Tammy, Cody, and myself, we can help you out. Any Anything that you've got, questions you want to ask, we should have answers for them. If we don't have answers, we'll research it. We won't give you BS. We'll tell you the honest opinion yep. of what we think is going on. Follow us on Instagram. My Breeder Supply at Instagram. Okay. All right. Good day. <clears throat> or YouTube. Search for Love My Pups. Yep. Yeah, that's yep, right. That's right.